Do you know the dangers of using your technology when you're traveling? In this video, I am going to show you how to keep your privacy when using technology abroad. Technology has made traveling so much easier. It's a complete game changer. But with all the wonderful things that it does bring, it also brings some dangerous things that can happen to your privacy when you are not aware of these things. Now, I'm going to give you three items of what you shouldn't be doing, and then I will tell you what you should be doing instead. So the first one is on public Wi-Fi networks. Now, these ones are going to be in cafes and restaurants and stores. Now, if you are using the Wi-Fi, it's totally fine. I use a Wi-Fi all the time, but there's only certain things that I will use it for. Now, first, you do not want to be checking sensitive information when you are on these public Wi-Fi networks, and you don't wanna be logging in to any accounts. Now, why this is, is because hackers can get onto these accounts very easily, just like everyone else, and they're able to hack into the system and they can see what everyone in that cafe that is on that network or on that Wi-Fi network is doing, and they can find out your logins if you're logging in with your password. They can look at your banks, like they can look at what you're looking at. Never wanna check your banking information when you are on a public Wi-Fi network. Now, instead, there's two things that you can do. One, you just don't look at any of that information and you don't use your logins to log in to any of the uh, any accounts. Two, you can use a VPN. So VPN is going to hide your IP address within that Wi-Fi network. So hackers are not gonna be able to see what you are doing. They're not even gonna realize that you are on the network. So. That way you're going to be protected. You have your VPN, turn it on, and then it's going to be safe for you to check those items. And lastly, the other option that you have is use your own data to check those items. So when you have, if you've purchased a SIM card or if you're using an international plan from your service provider at home, use that to check those types of sensitive information. Next is you want to be very cautious and probably don't use the USB ports uh, that are set up at airports and at some train stations. Now, these can contain dangerous malware once you plug in. So you want to just kind of avoid that altogether. Instead, you can bring uh, one of your USB uh, ports yourself and just plug it in. If you are in a country that has a different plug-in, you can purchase one of those prior to leaving so that you have the proper plug-in to plug in anywhere. The other option is you keep a charged power bank with you. Now, I always keep a charged power bank with me. Now, you want to make sure that you're recharging that power bank each night so that it is fully charged for your next day. And then lastly, you want to delete anything off your devices or your computer laptops that you don't want anyone else looking at. Now, this is including any illegal downloads, um, anything that is in emails that you are, that is sensitive information that you don't want anyone looking at. Now, the reason you're wanting to clear off all of this information is that border guards do have the right in most countries to go through your devices and look for those anything that they want. Now, in some countries, they don't even need to have probable cause to look through your devices. Um, if you don't give them your code, you're just gonna get denied going into that country. You wanna make sure that everything is cleared off so that you have no problems handing it over and saying, here's my code, and they can look through and there's nothing gonna be on there. So I hope those tips give you some insight of how to keep more protected from the dangerous things that can happen to your technology and yourself while you're traveling abroad. If you have any questions, please put them down below and I would love to answer those for you. Now, if you liked what you saw today, please subscribe to my channel. I talk everything travel and photography. If you have any other thing, any other questions, please reach out to me. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you next time. Talk to you later.